Well, as we've reported, uh, animals can also contract coronavirus. And that is why a pharmaceutical company that developed a vaccine for the animals is donating doses at Zoo Tampa at Lowry Park. Aid Exercise Justin Shecker joining us live from the zoo tonight. So, uh, so far, Justin, no COVID detected in any of these zoo animals, right? That's right, Keith. Fortunately, none of the animals here at Zoo Tampa have contracted the virus, but some species at zoos and sanctuaries around the world have become infected. Over the past year during the pandemic, Zoo Tampa has taken steps to protect the animals in its care from the coronavirus. I went around with my tape measure. We made sure that all the barriers were six feet at least, and um, caregivers that were coming within six feet of any mammal we're wearing a KN95 mask. Dr. Cynthia Stringfield tells Aid on Your Side, great apes and big cats across the country have contracted the virus. So we're not worried about birds or reptiles, so mammals only. The infected animals, she says, have developed similar symptoms as humans. It's respiratory symptoms, not feeling well, diarrhea, not wanting to eat. The specialized COVID-19 animal vaccine made by a veterinary pharmaceutical company is considered experimental. It's still under review by the USDA, but Dr. Stringfield says she's very confident it is safe. Our goal is to protect our animals' health, and there are some species that are susceptible to COVID that are really endangered species, and the ones that we have here at the zoo are irreplaceable. Right now, Dr. Stringfield says the zoo is figuring out which individual animals will receive the vaccine. And we do what's called a risk-benefit assessment. Is, is this worth doing in this animal? It's not like you can just have them walk up or drive up in their car and, you know, give, give their shoulder. Although some animals are trained. And the doctor tells me this a special animal COVID-19 vaccine was developed specifically for minks because they've been hard hit by this virus. But she says it should be effective in many mammals. The animal vaccinations here at the zoo should start in late summer or early fall. We're live at Zoo Tampa. I'm Justin Shecker, 8 on your side.